Now, in this video, we are going to be looking at some of the most amazing kibbles you can get on the market in the UK. I know that dog food can be very confusing because everybody is trying to sell you something and everybody's trying to tell you that their brand is the best kibble and the most appropriate kibble or dog food for that matter for your dog. But in this video, I am going to be sharing some really useful tips for you to determine whether a food is good or bad for your dog. Now, there's going to be a few caveats to this video, so please hold tight. The first one is that we are only going to cover kibble brands here and some kibble you can buy for your dog. We are not going to talk about wet food, even though some of these or most of these brands do wet foods and we are not going to do things like freeze dried foods. Freeze dried foods and kibble, even though they are somewhat connected, they're not the same thing. So we are going to separate them. This is only going to relate to kibble brands you can buy for your dog. Now, another thing that I want to share and that I want to say is that all of these foods are premium. And what I mean by premium is we look very, very carefully at the ingredients. Not only the ingredients on the back of the packet, which have to be very good, but where do those ingredients come from? What is the quality of those ingredients? If you think about it, the quality of a chicken that lives in a small cage all of its life and it's only able to move from here to there, it's not the same quality as a chicken that can roam freely and can eat whatever they want. It's not the same quality product. It's not going to be the same quality byproduct of that chicken. So yes, sometimes chicken is chicken, but sometimes chicken is not chicken. So all of these kibble brands have very high quality ingredients, which coincidentally is the most important thing when choosing a brand. Always check the ingredients and always make sure those ingredients come from reputable sources. Now the first brand of food is Aquila. Now Aquila is an 80-20 food primarily, which means that they add 80% animal protein and animal ingredients and 20% botanicals and low glycemic carbohydrates to the food. Now, the one thing I really like about Aquila is something they call whole prey, which other brands have come up with it as well. But it's the concept of feeding dogs as close a diet as possible to that which the wolf ancestors would have eaten. And these includes meat, liver, cartilage, fat, and edible bone. What is Aquila trying to mimic? What is Aquila trying to replicate? Aquila is trying to replicate what a dog, what a wild dog would eat if they were left to their own devices in the wild. If a dog were to encounter a hare or a rabbit, for example, they would eat the whole thing, the whole prey. That's what Aquila and all these companies are trying to mimic. They want to try to replicate what a dog would eat in the wild. And we agree with this terminology because it's what dogs need, not only to survive, but to thrive. Now, I found this really interesting thing they put on their website. It, it really bodes well for manufacturers when they do things like these. So due to excess supply, they say, we often use the cuts of meat that are desirable for humans too. E.g., on a recent factory tour, the batch of chicken being used was originally destined from M&S, Marks and Spencer, but they had oversupply, so it was used in our food instead. We source our ingredients locally wherever possible. Now, as a consumer, when I read that the same chicken I can buy in M&S is used to feed my dog, that gives me peace, that gives me tranquility that what I'm feeding my dog is of high quality. The second brand of food we are going to cover is Bentley's. And again, this is a very high quality kibble because all these companies are pretty similar in ethos and they're very similar or they try to be as similar 
as possible in ingredients. So the one thing I do like about, they say on their website that more brands including higher protein and fewer carbohydrates are being produced. Product makers are recognizing the benefits linked to the canine ancestral diet. This is very good news. Now, Bentley's again do high protein values and try to reduce the amount of carbohydrates and pick very low glycemic carbohydrates to put in their food. Now, for example, rice or something like wheat are very high in the glycemic scale and they're not very good for your dog. So all these companies try to stay away from high glycemic carbohydrate, refined sugar basically, because corn and wheat are then transformed into fat into triglycerides within the liver. So these companies try to stay away and they try to put things like broccoli, oats, maybe any other vegetables which are lower on the glycemic scale and are much better for your dog. And again, they say on their website, and I really like this, that dogs do not need wheat, rice, barley, corn or potatoes. And this is true. The third brand of food is R2. And again, this is a premium food and is an 80-20 food. They say on their website that the key benefits are the super eight, which is what they call the fruit, vegetables, herbs, spices, and botanicals, which provide nutrients, a small amount of nutrients vital for health and maintenance. They say the food is clean. It's made without artificial colors, artificial preservatives, artificial flavors, and GM ingredients. They also include some probiotics like the rest of companies in this video. So R2 again, you will see free run chicken and premium ingredients that they add to the food. Now, one cool thing about R2 is that they do some single protein foods. For example, if your dog has a specific allergy to a specific protein, they have single protein foods that you can feed your dog. So for example, if your dog has an allergy to chicken, you can buy the free run duck or the free run turkey and those foods will not contain any chicken whatsoever. So single protein diets and single protein foods are beneficial for dogs who have allergies and we like this because sometimes a lot of these premium brands will include and rightfully so as many varieties of protein as possible so your dog can benefit from all these different ingredients and all these different lovely protein sources but if you aren't sure whether a particular protein sits well with your dog you can buy a single protein food from R2 and if that works that means you will be safe using that food. For more on dog allergies, please click up here and that link will take you to a free allergy seminar that we did and you can watch for free and it's really really useful. Now another brand on the list is Carnilov. Carnilov is a 70-30 food and again this is a high quality food. The unique selling point is the rare meats they do for their food. So they do something like duck and pheasant and reindeer and rare meats like that that aren't common in the dog world. So if you like rare meats and you think your dog would benefit from something a bit more exotic, you can certainly try Carnilove. It's a 70-30 food, which is slightly lower than an 80-20 or an 85-15, for example. So it's slightly lower in the protein source but they make it up with reindeer and all these rare meats. Now, the one thing I don't like about Carnilove is that they use chicken as a binder in most of their foods. And in premium foods, like all the brands in this video, I don't think it's right and it doesn't sit quite well with me that they all contain chicken as a binder. Now, the other argument I can make is that Carnilove is a lower price point than most of the rest, so there is a trade up there. The better the ingredients, the pricier it is going to get. And obviously, Carnilove is a bit lower in the quality tier 
and it's a bit cheaper in the quality tier, but a very good food nevertheless. Something which is definitely a step up from any other brands of kibble that are out there. Now, another brand of food that I really like is Ziwi, and this comes all over from New Zealand. Now, in their recipes, they like to say that all dogs are carnivores and that you will find high inclusions of meat, organs, seafood, and bone which is the pig prey diet. And it's what your pet would choose for themselves in the wild. So again, they are trying to mimic, they are trying to replicate what a dog would eat in the wild. Ziwi is a phenomenal brand of food. Their ingredients are absolutely top and they pride themselves in saying that the ingredients are ethical and sustainable. In one of the recipes, you will find New Zealand green mussel, beef cartilage, beef spleen, and all these ingredients that are very, very close to what a dog would eat in the wild. The one thing with Ziwi is that being so premium, it tends to be quite high in terms of price so it's one of those pricey dog foods they also include things like organic kelp um, which is very very beneficial for dogs because kelp contains iodine which is something beneficial for your dog so they go the extra mile to make sure that your dog is going to get everything they need ziwi is a phenomenal food. Pricey but phenomenal. Another brand of food that is very very popular and controversial at the same time is Origin. Origin is a Canadian brand of food that has lately been sold to Mars. Yes, the chocolate company. Now Origin for the longest time was perceived as being, if not the top, one of the top brands of food in the market. It's one of those brands that is hard to replicate how they do things. They slow cook everything and they only use fresh or raw ingredients. So whatever they put in the blender, as it were, it's either fresh or raw and they do a great selection. They have different varieties of food and they do something called an 8515, which is pretty rare for the industry. 85% quality animal ingredients and 15% botanicals and herbs and vegetables. Everything they do is as good as it gets. Now, if you are feeding Origin, someone will have told you that they have been bought out by Mars. Yes, again, the chocolate company. Is this a good or a bad thing for the company? Well, it depends, we will see. The thing about the internet is that everybody has an opinion and they will say that things are good or things are bad and we do not really know what the implications of Mars getting involved with Origin are going to be. For now, Origin remains independent and my understanding as an industry insider is that they have other brands which are very low quality and they don't want to tinker with this thing that they have acquired. Why don't they want to tinker with this thing they have acquired? Because they don't need to. They already have a portfolio of garbage companies, absolutely appalling dog foods that should not touch any dog whatsoever. But Origin is meant to be their premium food and is meant to be their premium brand with premium ingredients. And they don't, it doesn't, it wouldn't make sense for them to change this thing and make it a lower quality. The only reason I see for them to tinker with the product and make it lower quality is if Origin all of a sudden becomes widely available and it just booms in popularity and everybody starts feeding Origin. If you think about it, if you have a niche company with niche ingredients, they can only manufacture a certain amount of dog food each batch. But if that demand all of a sudden skyrockets, they don't have the ingredients, they don't have the right amount of animals, the right amount of abattoirs, for example, the right amount of logistics, which means that they have to dilute down the product. That is the only concern with Origin. So if you are feeding Origin or want to feed Origin at the moment, 
The product is phenomenal. It's incredible. The ingredients are up there with the best. And yes, they are pricey. It's a pricey brand, but it is worthwhile. How will things pan out in the future? I don't know. You don't know, nobody knows. But for now, Origin remains up there. And it's included in the video and it's for something. It's a phenomenal food. And the last food I am going to cover is Eden. Eden is a UK brand of food and is a phenomenal brand of food. It's another 80-20. And the one thing I like about Eden is that they add as many proteins as possible within each recipe. So for example, the original cuisine will have poultry and we'll have things like salmon and different fish and I like the different fish and the different poultry that they add to that recipe, the country cuisine. They will try to add all these wild proteins into the food and the fish will have different fish sauces. But so yeah, Eden is a phenomenal food. They also do a semi-moist variation, which is a phenomenal product. Icky dogs, tend to like moisture. Well, and all dogs really, they all tend to like moisture. So Eden have come up with something called the semi-moist recipe, which is like a wet kibble. It's a semi-moist kibble, it's a moist kibble. It's a phenomenal product and dogs tend to love it due to it being wet and due to it being a bit more appetizing than your dry kibble. But so Eden, they do an 80-20 dry and they do a 60-40 wet or semi-moist as it were. Now that 60% goes up if you remove the moisture from the calculation. So it's higher in protein than a 60-40. So yes, that's another quality food. I'm sure there's many, many more good quality kibbles out there. And this is not the point of these are the only foods that are high quality. No, there's loads. There's really, really loads of foods you can feed your dog and the dog will be happy. This is just a guide for you to check the ingredients on the back of every food and try to determine whether that's a fake premium food or that's a premium premium food and whether those two price points actually correlate and whether you are getting the most bang for your pound as it were. So we want you to make sure that you're getting the right quality for what you're paying for. A lot of these companies are trying to tell you this thing is really good when it's really not very good. So the best thing you can do is to read the ingredients and to make sure you get as good a quality as you can afford. If you like this video, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.